Talk. Hey everybody, Sean here and I hope you're doing well. This is most likely going to be the last short video on the Asbury event unless something dramatic happens. But as you may have heard, the university is putting an end to this revival, at least in the Hughes Auditorium with worship being allowed for 24 hours a day. Sunday, February 19th will be the last day, but they hope this will continue elsewhere. As some have said already, if this quote-unquote revival was actually started by God, then God will be the one who decides when it ends. In the first video we did on Asbury, we looked at an example of true revival with King Josiah in the book of 2 Kings. God's law was preached, idols were taken down, and true repentance occurred. Chris Roseborough apparently listened to something like 18 hours of this revival and noted that no gospel was preached in that time. As this article says, thousands of people traveled there to experience a spiritual cessation. And for the most part, that's what it's been. Another feel-good meeting of people holding hands and singing together. And there's nothing wrong with that, but unless hearts are being broken and people are being saved, it's not a true revival. And this is very similar to what we see happening in much of the New Apostolic Reformation. It's based on emotions and feelings. Once again, we should be thankful that an event focused around Jesus is occurring and should keep all that are attending this in our prayers. But the weeks to come should be telling indeed. Anyhow, just a quick one today, but as always, leave your thoughts below and until next time, take care and God bless.